lot of folks talk about the uh, popularity of the duet in country music and tend to forget sometimes that rock music has had its share of hits from duets as well. That's Kiki D along with Elton John. And Don't Go Break In My Heart. From the LP Chicago 10, here's Chicago. And if you leave me now... LP, that's Chicago, and baby, if you leave me now, if you're planning on going to a concert in the near future, make sure that you check either with your local ITT office or rec center or USO to find out about reduced price tickets. They've got the best deals in town for you. If you were one of the smart ones, that's where you bought your tickets to see this group when they swung through Europe a few months ago. Earth, wind, and fire. Let's get away.
Just a few minutes' time, we're going to hear from uh, Harold Melvin in the Blue Notes, along with Teddy Pendergrass and a special guest vocal shot from Sharon Page. But before we get to that, here's Rod Stewart in a song written by Cat Stevens. First cut is the deepest. Baby, I know the first cut is the 
Harold Melvin, along with the Blue Notes and Sharon Page. And I hope that we can be together soon. Just before that, we heard Rod Stewart have the first cut as the deepest. You're listening to Old Gold Retold from the Berlin Studios of AFN Europe. I'm Rick DeLisle, and here's Hall and Oates. She's gone. And we're just about gone. Got time for one more to kick off uh, the month of June on Old Gold Retold. Here's Wings. Paul McCartney. And let him in.
Jack knocking at our particular door. Think we'll let him in. That's old gold retold for tonight. I'm Air Force Sergeant Rick Lyle, reminding you that rock and roll is just a state of mind. Forces Network, Europe. You're required to carry a first aid kit and warning triangle in your car. Taking a look at items available in the Help Wanted section, the Stuttgart area CPO is presently accepting applications from U.S. citizens for the position of Recreation Specialist UA7. This is a temporary position until September 30th. An interested applicant should apply at the NAF section of the Robinson Barracks Civilian Personnel Office. That's the non-appropriated fund section of the Stuttgart CPO. This is AFN Stuttgart. At the last tone, Central European time will be 10 p.m. Do you know where your children are? News World, AFN's total information service. National and international news, Gary Bartell reporting. The Federal Aviation Administration 
says an American Airlines DC-10 passenger jet carrying 276 persons has crashed near Chicago's O'Hare Airport. The plane was trying to take off at the time of the crash. Unconfirmed reports say it went down near a trailer court. The plane was flight 191 en route from Chicago to Los Angeles. The FAA says it crashed about a half mile northwest of the airport going down shortly after takeoff. The spokesman says the plane was fully loaded. Now, whether details are yet available. A witness told UPI the plane was turned completely upside down when it hit the ground. It just totally disintegrated. The heat, the witness said, was intense. John Spinkling today became the first man to be executed for a crime in the United States in more than two years. Spinkling, a convicted murderer, was put to death in Florida's electric chair. UPI's Marshall Tanner reports. Murderer John Spinkling met his death at 10.18 this morning. He was trapped into Florida's electric chair and killed it with 2,500 volts of electricity, 12 amps, three times for a minimum of two minutes. Following the electrocution, we spoke with Jacksonville, Florida State Representative Andy Johnson, who told us that it was nauseating. It was horrible. It was bizarre. This is Marshall Tanner reporting from the Florida State Prison in Stark. Spankalank lost his last hope for reprieve only four minutes before the scheduled execution when the Supreme Court in Washington voted 6-2 to two to deny a new stay of his death sentence. The last execution in this country was that of Gary Gilmore, who was shot to death by a firing squad in Utah on January 17, 1977. Spankalink was not allowed a traditional last statement, contrary to promises from prison officials, who had said that he would make a final speech. But an Episcopal priest who saw Spankalink in the hours before he died said the condemned man had jotted down his epitaph. It said, man is what he chooses to be, he chooses that for himself. Spankalink met his death for a 1973 murder of a companion in a Tallahassee hotel room. Ike Siemens of NBC witnessed the execution. Witnesses were brought in about five minutes till 10. The blinds to the death room were down. Just before they went up, a telephone inside the death room rang. David Kendall, the chief legal strategist for the Save Spankalink movement, whispered, oh, please, God. But then the... The Venetian blinds were raised, and there was Spinkling sitting bound tightly into the electric chair. He had a leather gag across his mouth, strapped across his chest and midsection. His eyes were just looked terrified. They darted all around as if he were wondering who were those people looking at him. He received the first electrical surge at approximately 10:12. His hands moved slightly, and they never moved again. He received two more surges. Then the prison doctor checked him three times and pronounced him dead at 1019. As we watched Finkelink, his private or personal minister, Tom Finster, said this, I hope you pray, this is merciful, in the name of God, for our soul's sake. Later he said, this was barbaric. Finkelink becomes the first man since 1977 